Heinrich, look at her. It's Alice. The injuries she suffered and survived. It's it's not human. That doesn't mean she's not. Who are you? <coughs> By whom? My she, my voice. She even sounds like. Yes. Yes. Uh, I fixed your voice and your arm. Who are you? What's I'm, going on? I'm Henrik Andersen, the CEO of Borkorp. The voice you're hearing is my wife, Sarah. <laughs> she's uh, she's up on the surface, Rob. Unfortunately. You and I are stuck down here. The things happening down there are happening up here as well. And it's getting worse by the minute. What did you do to me? I brought you back from Helheim. Henrik, calm down. The journey to save her almost killed you. I don't want to lose you. Since she already has the prosthetic installed, tell her about it. Fine. Your new arm holds great power. Charged by Atrium, it can channel a magnificent force. It's based upon ancient knowledge uncovered by my wife. And brought into fruition by Henrik. The arm is called Yerngraper. You brought uh, a hand with you. Use the Yerngraper to extract the RFID from it. You'll gain access to all doors with that level of security clearance. Now try it. Scan the hand on the table, and then use it downstairs, on the lock. I know this is a lot to ask. We're not taking this lightly. Please. I'll tell you more as you go. faster. Please hurry. I'll show you all the things you need to know. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. You can hear me as long as our radio can reach your Bifrost system. Ahead of you is your first obstacle. A service hatch that can usually only be opened from the inside, unless you're an engineer. However, young Graver can open the tunnels in an unconventional way. But first, you need power. You should find an atrium upgrade in a nearby room. <clears throat> that right there is a small atrium cell that can power the arm. Insert it in the arm, get back to the service hatch, and fire a burst at it to fry the lock circuits. And don't forget to refill your power with the power station on the wall before you move on. If you collect enough upgrades for Jan Graper, you can activate the weapon inside it. Ahead and above you, there's another obstacle you can overcome with Jan Graper. Use your sight to find the ladder's control panel. Aim at it and fire a directed burst to lower the ladder. Since Jan Graper is relying on atrium power cells, your life might be depending on not running out. There is another, larger power cell that you can carry with you at all times. Collect the power cells. Anytime you want to use them, activate your Bifrost personal display system for instructions and to keep track of how many you've collected. Ahead of you, you will find a door that is locked with an RFID signature you don't have. But now, that won't be a problem for you. It's the same as the earlier electronics, but the mechanics of the door needs a little finesse. 
use your sight to see the mechanics inside the door and time the burst to get through. seems to be working again. Where were we? Right. Uh, our world, Midgard, is sharing its existence with eight other worlds that are all connected by something known in the legends as Yggdrasil, the world tree. When we started researching the travel between worlds, we used technology to tap into a magical artifact known in the legends as the Absol, controller of the roots of Yggdrasil. This made it possible for us to safely travel to other worlds. Then, something came through one of the roots. The spirit. It took control of the Absolov and our systems, causing an emergency overrun. The facility was completely sealed, and the roots started spreading. We need to reverse this by collecting the nine artifact keys, originally made to control the artifact and the roots it brings forth. But, Henrik has traveled too much unprotected. He almost died when he saved you, and wouldn't survive going through another route. You are literally our only hope of stopping this. Without those keys, the roots and nightmares will take over our world. The fire giants will- Sarah. Wait, Henrik, I'm losing connection again. Sarah? Shit. Listen, we know the location of one of the keys. Ahead of you is a route that will take you to Niflheim, the ice world. Every moment the roots spread further into Midgard, so find the key and come back here as soon as possible. Please hurry!
promise you I have gathered a lot of data on the key's whereabouts. I'm this, this close to finding it. I, but the road home, I, I can't get to it. Not with that, that thing outside. And I, I, I don't know how much more of this I can take. You have to send someone to find another route. My feet are starting to... to uh, 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 I can't feel them anymore. back alive. As, as soon as we lost connection, I thought. I can see you on a camera feed. Ahead of you, in Absolove Research, there's an elevator that you can take to me on floor B1. I've marked the elevator so you can find it with your sight. There's probably a lot of things to explore in Absolove Research, but don't stay for too long. Don't insert the key into the tablet until I've analyzed it. Please hurry. Five. 
There are many gods from the myths, which seem to have ties to the things we are retrieving from the other worlds. We have items from Odin, the Allfather, and his son Thor, the god of lightning. We have also found proof of the existence of the immortal Baldur and Freya, the goddess of fertility. And we have some leads on Hel, the goddess of death. Mimir, the keeper of the Well of Wisdom. And... And Loki, the god of mischief. But that one worries me a bit. is built around the ideas of single eccentric individuals but the way people spoke about it it sounded more like some idealistic crusade rather than a, a scientific excursion um, perhaps that's why i took the job to begin with to disprove the pseudoscience proposed by others working on the logical puzzle that is the absolov from the beginning, I have treated this as a natural phenomenon, and I will not simply believe. In time, 
we'll find an explanation for the Absalom's existence. And by then, I hope the full spouting paganistic nonsense will be a long way from here. We've had lots of difficulties maneuvering the other eight worlds of Yggdrasil to find the artifacts that we need. That is, until now. Henrik found out that magical beings can see on a spectrum that is invisible to mere mortals. And with artifacts and knowledge brought home from Vanaheim, Henrik has managed to infuse this magic into an augmented reality implant, making the spectrum visible to the user. And this is an amazing leap forward to unlock the secrets that these worlds are holding from us. Researcher Yang, note 40. The Absolov containment facility has grown in equal proportions to the discoveries made during the last few months. The various spatial phenomena occurring in the vicinity of the Absolov are astounding, and the materials excavated are just... Uh, they're alien in nature and most likely dangerous. And I keep wondering about Dr. Henrik Anderson's intentions. It's clear he's looking for something. At first, I figured it to be a religious reasoning behind his actions. But when I came across a schedule for the facility, I noticed how Anderson has apparently moved his own daughter into one of the advanced care units. He's planning something. I want to find out what. to their own well-being, or ethics, or reason. Consider this note my resignation. I'm heading to the surface right away before this madness spirals completely out of control.
Yeah, Lord, do, do you have it? Oh, magnificent! Praised be Odin and all of his sons! Oh, you've done well. I almost died. And but I... you didn't. And now you're taking the first step in my plan to save this world of ours. Oh, I have full fun and chance. Yes, but... Now, now, there is much I have to show you. And, and time is of the essence. At the end of the hallway is a room. The key code is 3425. I'll direct you once you've entered the room. Please, leave questions for afterwards. Now go, 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 go. Questions? Where do I even begin? Dr. Lisa Svensson, supervisor. Day 12 of tablet analysis. Dr. Anderson brought an artifact holding an engraved sphere in some form of a magnetic energy field. The text delivered with the sphere suggests that it's a soul stone. Something meant to replicate and store the soul of any higher being. There are accounts of time anomalies and split realities, but they are impossible to read at the time. a lot of things up for us. Thank you for bringing the key back. You're, you're welcome. And thank you for fixing my arm. Yeah. 
I assume you have no memories of your past, and I bet you're wondering who you are. Well, so am I. But I'm locked out of the facility's main database at the moment, so if we make a quick detour then- Henrik! Thousands are dying every minute and you're talking about detours? We need to know, Sarah. I need to know what happened to her. Don't put the girl through any more than she has to, Henrik. Don't make her do this. We, we have to figure this out. The emergency system severed the connection between most of the systems and the base. You need to go to the medical research facility and obtain a remote link to grant me access to the information we need. I would do it myself, but I'm not strong enough. I'll show you everything you need to know on the way. are always handled with extreme caution, while some <sighs> just aren't. We're hundreds of meters below the surface in northern Sweden. If something happens, it could be hours before help arrives. Above that, some of the artifacts clearly emit energy fields that could be a potential long-term health risk. The statue in the center of the facility has hundreds of people walking by it all day. Not to mention the gigantic hammer that was carelessly placed in a room where serious scientists, including myself, are working unprotected right next to it. My PDA tablet was low on battery this morning, but when I got back to my quarters, the battery was almost full. This just can't be right. ahead of you, there's a battery. In case of a facility-wide power failure, they can be charged to power equipment in smaller areas. Jungleber has the ability to remotely charge these batteries with large and small bursts. When you're done with it, you can just take the energy right back, like any power station. This will make the area go down.
that thing stopping your path is a wraith, a ghost of a broken giant. It's time to show you the weapon in Yangri. The last level, right before it overloads, is used to destroy evil magic. But be wary, different creatures will react differently to the power, so be careful when using it. Use the large atrium burst to destroy the Jotun Wraith that stops your path. <clears throat> Don't forget that while you're charging the arm, you can cancel the charge at any time to avoid overloading it. By the gods, I see that ahead of you there's a whole lot of vermin. The myth describes them as trolls. We accidentally brought them back from Midgard on an expedition to retrieve a mythical harp from a magical creature which we destroyed. Back then, they were blind. They started spreading here. They, uh, they evolved. And now, they aren't blind anymore. And they're aggressive and fast. Always be ready for the large pulse of Jan Greper.
Fenric. What am I looking at? That. That is the source of the power you are wielding, and the thing powering the whole facility. Mjolnir, the hammer of the gods. You can charge Jangraper on the energy outlets on the hammer, and don't forget your portable power cells if you end up without power suddenly. After this, we might lose connection since we're going to the upper level, so uh, good luck.
Are you there? on the level of an older child and something that seems to be memories day 83 the subject is very drawn to the female from the human trials she is not yet conscious but the subject is very keen on staying close to her almost like he's guarding her day 95 the creature is growing and is getting harder to contain the subject went on a rampage when he discovered that the female was moved during the night after destroying the holding area, he was sedated and moved to a location closer to the female. If growth doesn't cease, termination of the subject might be necessary.
Ой, блядь. database. Your creation was a meld of a female subject, Alice, for an artifact tissue. For what 
purpose? By the gods. There was another creature before you. What? Artifact tissue from the outskirts of Asgard in combination with human tissue to create an enormous beast. A wolf. The file describes the creature as ever-growing, with minor intelligence and... During your creation, you were guarded by the beast, which seems to be emotionally attached to you for some reason. How could you possibly not know about this going on? <sighs> I'm afraid this occurred after the spirit took control. It what, must be behind this. What are you talking about? What is the spirit? And I how- I knew this would only raise more questions. I am sorry you had to risk your safety for this, my dear. Get back to Henrik as soon as possible so we can locate the next key and end this nightmare. She's right. Head back down here. I'll answer any questions you've got. You're here. So far, you've met my- You said you'd answer my questions. <sighs> Fine. Ask away. I don't know where to start. What is this place? What I built this. Spent years of mortal life toiling away at plans, scraping together resources and favors to turn this into reality. A place to research the things thought to be myths and superstition. A place to research the Absalom. The last divine artifact left in Midgard. You've already seen it. On your way down. That statue? Upstairs? At first, we used ancient knowledge and combined it with Boar Corp technology to open rifts between worlds. We made enormous progress, discovered new worlds and unimaginable technologies. But some unwanted things came back with us, entering our world. And now everything is just falling apart. I'm trapped down here, and we have lost control of the entire facility. The only way to stop the world from falling into chaos is to collect nine keys and insert them into the Absalom. The artifact acts as the gate, and the keys will keep Midgard from being littered with the roots spreading across the surface. And unless we stop it, our existence and that all living things will become endless torment. How... How do you know where the keys are? Years of research alone and with my associates, scouring through endless texts of the Nine Worlds. Who is Alice? Enough questions! You have the key! Order must be restored to the realms of Yggdrasil and the evils from beyond must be locked down! Insert this key into the Absalom and remember what I've taught you. Do that and you will succeed. Now get out of here, go! Disposal. 
the artifact keys as soon as possible. The next one is in another part of Niveline, on top of a tower of ice, a beacon of light. From the Absalov research room, you have to go through the east wing. The code to the gate is 3825. I repeat, 3825. Be careful, my dear. Thank you. 